Hi guys, it's Spring and uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about fertilizing your fruit trees. And first of all, let's talk about why do we need to fertilize fruit trees. Well, the first reason might be that the results of your soil test say that you need to do something. And uh, some of the old timers told me when I first started working for MSU Extension that uh, we need at least 50 pounds per acre of uh, phosphorus. And for the palm fruits, which would be apples and pears, for potassium we'd like to have between 140 and 160 pounds per acre. And if there were stone fruits like peaches or apricots or cherries, we'd like to have between 200 and 240 pounds per acre. Now things are reported in um, parts per million now on the soil test, so I made those conversions for you on the screen. Uh, now with nitrogen, it's a little bit different. Uh, it depends on how large the tree is. And nitrogen is probably one of the more important uh, nutrients that you have to be concerned about. But lots of things happen to nitrogen in the soil, so we normally will have to apply nitrogen on a regular basis. Now there are a number of reasons why you would fertilize your fruit tree other than uh, an indication for the soil test report. For instance, if your tree leaves were light green, that could indicate a problem with nitrogen, especially when they're first coming out in the spring. Also, if there has been a very difficult winter and the trees have suffered from some winter injury, that may be a reason why you would want to fertilize. Or if the tree has gone through a really rough year as a result of uh, heavy disease or insect infestation. So that would be another reason why you may want to put on some supplemental nitrogen. Now another thing that we look at when we are fertilizing our fruit trees is how much annual growth are they putting on. Now a dwarf apple tree for instance, especially if it's a spur type dwarf apple tree, may only put on about 12 inches or so of annual growth. Whereas uh, say a Cortland apple may put on three feet of growth. So you have to know a little bit about what type of tree you're working with, whether it's a dwarf tree or a standard tree, as to how much expected annual growth you would have. Now, the way that you could look at uh, how much annual growth a tree is putting on is start at the bud that's going to break that year and move down on that branch until you see what's called a bud scar, which is the number of lines where the bud from the previous year has broken. That indicates one year of growth. And as you go further back on the branch, you will be able to see additional amounts. And so you may see that uh, a tree has put on 12 inches of growth one year, 18 inches of growth another year, 24 inches of growth another year, depending on how much rainfall and the fertility that particular tree has. So if a tree is putting on good annual growth, it has good color, and it hasn't had any real problems, then you don't have to fertilize on an annual basis. Now the second thing I'd like to talk about is when do you fertilize trees? Well, what we try to do with fertilizing our trees is put it down on the ground as soon as possible in the early spring that you can get out and do it. This is usually about April when the snow is gone and um, we try to get our fertilization done before the month of June. The next thing you're going to have to decide on is what type of method are you going to use to apply the fertilizer. For instance, you can buy these stakes where they uh, come with a little plastic cover. You put them on top of the fertilizer and you pound them in around the drip line. And the drip line is out, if you, if you look directly down below the farthest branches out, that's your drip line. And you would put these evenly spaced around the tree and the number you would use is based on the size of the tree. Now, the package itself isn't that expensive. But if you look at it on the long run and how much you're paying for the weight of that fertilizer, that's a fairly expensive route to go. Now another option you have, especially for smaller trees, is using a root feeder. And this is an example of a root feeder right here. And this is a Ross root feeder. And it has a top here where, and, and I don't have the fertilizer pellets with me, um, <clears throat> it has a hole here where you put your fertilizer pellet. You screw this top on, you hook your hose up to this end, this is the handle for carrying, and then when the water comes through here, it dissolves the fertilizer inside here, and then it goes down the pole into the ground, and usually you won't put this pole down more than a few inches, and it comes out of this little tip here, and you get a liquid fertilizer. Now, you're not getting a lot of fertilizer for the tree, but it's okay for a starter tree. 
uh, and it waters the tree at the same time. Of course, you are paying a higher price for this, but if you like garden gadgets, this is a nice way to go. If you have a fruit tree on a fairly heavy clay soil and your soil is hard to penetrate, you just put this in as far as it'll go and the water will soften up the soil and you can move it down deeper if you'd like. But you want to keep the water uh, and fertilizer up around where most of the roots are, so that's in about the so top 6 to 12 inches of the soil. Another option that you have is to apply a liquid fertilizer such as miracle Grow or rapid Grow or Fish Emulsion or something like that if you want to use an organic source. And uh, these type of fertilizers are good for younger trees. They're dilute and you can even apply them when you plant the tree. Normally we don't suggest that you put fertilizer, especially in the planting hole when you plant it, but you can do this with miracle Grow or rapid Grow or Fish Emulsion because they're so low concentrated in nutrients and they can get the tree off to a good start. But that's your call. Another way to fertilize that's more efficient and economical is to use a balanced fertilizer from a bag, like a 10-10-10 or 12-12-12. And the amount that we would use is based on the size of the tree trunk in terms of diameter. For instance, we usually suggest about one cup of a balanced fertilizer per inch diameter of tree. So if you have a five inch diameter tree, it's five cups. And then you would just spread that on the surface in a wide band around the drip line. And it's best to apply a granular fertilizer just before you have a rain because when it rains, the nutrients are released off of the carrier and the roots can readily pick it up once it's washed down into the soil profile. The maximum amount that we're going to use is eight cups. So regardless of whether your tree is eight inches or 15 inches, you still use eight cups. This is what we call a maintenance uh, amount. And we don't just do this uh, willy-nilly and say, well, my tree is six inches diameter. Every year I'm going to apply this six cups of this fertilizer. You should evaluate what it's doing for you. Is it improving the color of the tree? Is it improving the annual growth, the amount of annual growth? Um, is it producing well? So we're looking at what are the results. And another thing that you can do, and I'll do a video on this later, but most homeowners don't bother with, is something called leaf analysis. And leaf analysis is where you collect leaves, usually excellent quality leaves, around 100 or so, and that's done around late summer, I think about August, I'll have to double check that. And um, you send this up to the soil testing lab at your local land grant university, and what they do is look at the nutrient levels in the leaves. So what you're trying to do is compare what you're putting on the ground with what's getting up in the tr into the tree. And if you're getting a good amount up into the leaf and the tree is doing really well, you may be able to cut back on the amount of fertilizer you need or you may just not use it at all for a particular year. Now, some of you do not like to use chemical fertilizers and I don't have a problem with that because when I teach people about gardening, it's their option. I try to give uh, multiple options. So your options for organic uh, fertilizers would be compost, which compost is more of a soil amendment than a fertilizer because the analysis is so low. But it certainly will improve the soil around the tree and will help it to live and, and flourish. Uh, now animal manures, for instance, cow manure, horse manure, those types of things, especially if they've been composted, are good materials to use as a side dressing and basically you put it on like you'd put on a mulch and you would do this early in the, the season also. There are some uh, organic fertilizers that you can buy that are balanced fertilizers like a 555 but whatever we were suggesting using say a 101010 you would double the amount of the uh, organic fertilizer. So take into consideration that analysis and compare it to the recommendations we used for the chemical fertilizers. Now the nutrients will not be available as quickly, but you will still get a, a good release of nutrients over a longer period of time and your plants will benefit from that. So you have those options available to you. And remember, you should evaluate the soil test and look how your trees are growing before you decide whether or not uh, a need for a more aggressive fertilizer program is necessary. If you have any questions or if I didn't explain something that you want to know about, you're free to give me an email um, or make a comment. 
and I don't um, get to them right away but I will answer your question because I am trying to answer comments and questions from I think 60 or 70 emails uh, or I should say videos right now on my YouTube channel so I hope you found that helpful and I'll talk to you later option one is to go down and buy fertilizer tree and normally we don't suggest you put fertilizer and even though we don't suggest that you put fertilizer 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 or it could be an organic fertilizer fertilizer yeah, I think I'm having a stroke here like um, if you haven't run a soil test you can use a balanced fertilizer